Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at how to completely uninstall server. Uh, one of the things I like to show users is how to do this complete uninstall because it seems like with every server iteration there's a few things that change. And so I just want to make sure that I update this so that you know how to do an uninstall, especially for those of you that may be having problems and want to start fresh. I want to walk you through the process of doing this because it's not as simple as just deleting the server application. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to get started. So here we are with our open directory. Now one of the things we want to do first is we're going to go through and turn off all of our services. So here I am in the caching service, just going to stop that service. And you want to wait till each one stops and goes offline. And so sometimes it's going to take a little while to load each one of these, but we're going to go ahead and load those and then turn them each off. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and turn all of these off and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, now that I've turned off all of the services, uh, what I need to do is destroy my open directory. Now what you may want to do if you want to keep that information in there, uh, you may want to come in here and archive your open directory master which will uh, give you a wizard that will help you walk through setting up an archive file with a password. You choose where to store it and then you can restore from an archive later if you want to do that to keep all of your open directory data in there. Uh, in my case I'm not so concerned about it so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel. And what you do then is select your open directory and hit the minus sign here and it's going to say you sure you want to delete this. We're going to say go ahead and delete it and now it's going to go through the process of deleting my open directory master. And so this is the last step here, and so it's going to take a little bit there to do the delete, and we'll wait until that finishes here. And when we do, it should throw the switch here, and the service should turn off because we'll no longer have an open directory to work with here. So again, it just depends on how long um, it will take for each of you to be a little bit different but we want to do this to make sure that we don't have that up and running before we do anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and let that run and as soon as it's done I'll show you what it looks like. Now the open directory is off as well and I have no services that are functional here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and quit the server application. So it's going to go ahead and quit that for us. Uh, next what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and go into our applications folder here in the finder and you want to go down to the server uh, application which is right here and you just want to control click on it and say show package contents. Now I've done that in another tab here so let me just come into this tab to show you what it looks like and so here we are inside the uh, server package contents so we're gonna go to contents server root the user folder share device manager backend and then we have this wipe database sh and so we want to run this uh, you could run this straight from a terminal command as well but since we're in here I just wanted to show you where it was so I'm just going to double click this and it should launch terminal for me and here we are with my terminal window and so we're going to let that load up and it's going to ask me for my password so let me go ahead and put that in And once I put that in, I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to go through the process of stopping all of the various services. You can see it's stopping Device Manager. It's stopping the uh, Post Rest SQL. You can see all the different things that it's stopping there. And it's going to run all of these different processes here to make sure that we've got the database wiped so that we don't have anything showing up that we don't want to have show up later when we do uh, our clean install then of OS of uh, Mac OS Server. So it might take a little bit of time as it's running uh, all these various tools. Uh, so again, I'm going to let this run. And when it's done, I will show you what the output looks like when you're done with, uh, with the terminal window. OK, and here we are. Uh, this is the final output there for wiping the database. You can see it's all completed now. And so it's deleted everything. So we're good to go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And so now that we've done that, uh, we're ready now to uh, delete and get rid of uh, the server application. So we're just going to come over here, we're going to grab the server application, and we're just going to drag it into the trash. And in doing so, it's going to ask us to authenticate, so let me do that. And once I've put in my password, I'm going to say OK, and now it's going to move server to the trash, and now it's deleted server. So the server's all deleted, it's in the trash now. Uh, it'll take a, a minute or so for the different services to realize that they've uh, stopped. Um, but now that we've done that, now all we've got to do is go clean up uh, some of the other items that servers left behind. 
and you can see here the server app removal has been detected and so it's just telling me you got to reinstall it before any services can be restarted we're gonna say OK and so now what we need to do is remove uh, a few other services okay some of the files that we need to delete uh, are found in the library uh, at the root level here on the hard drive and so what we want to do is go into library here and scroll down and you can see here we've got the server folder that has all of our different settings in it and so we're going to want to go ahead and delete this so I'm just going to hit the trash can here and it's going to ask me to authenticate so let me put my information in there okay once my information is in there I'll say OK and it's going to go ahead and delete that folder so that's gone now we don't have to worry about that uh, those settings there now the other thing we want to do is go up to preferences and if we just pull this out here what we're going to look for is anything related to server here in the preferences and you can see uh, something different in this setup is we've got a server docs folder as well as the server manager certs folder uh, item so we're going to go ahead and select both of those just go ahead and hit those and we're going to delete those as well so I'm going to hit the trash can again we need to authenticate and once I've put that in there I can say OK and now I've deleted those and so that's what you want to do is just kind of go through and make sure that there's nothing left behind with those server manager things on it. So it looks like we've got all of those. Uh, one more place you might want to check. It should be taken care of with the uninstall. But if you go to privileged helper tools, just look in here to make sure there's nothing related to server in here, which it looks like there is nothing. So uh, it already got it. Uh, sometimes some stuff can be left over there. So you just want to check that out. Okay, now we just have a few more places we need to check uh, for different files. And so here I am in the var uh, folder. And so you can get there. I'm using uh, Pathfinder here, which shows uh, some of the hidden folders in here. Uh, you could also get there by going to the Go menu and uh, go to Folder and then type in a forward slash and then VAR, and it will take you to this folder. Now inside here there's a couple of things we want to do. We want to go to the database folder here and just check to make sure that we don't have a file called dot server setup done. See how we have Apple setup done right here. Uh, we don't we're not worried about that, but if there's one that says dot server uh, setup done, we want to get rid of that. And it should be taken care of, but it's always good to check just to be sure and it looks like it has been taken care of, so we should be fine. Uh, the other thing we want to do is get rid of this server uh, folder right here. And so to do that, I'm just going to hit trash. It's going to ask me to authenticate, so let me do that. And once I've put in my credentials, I say OK. And now it's deleted that folder. So now we've got all of that done and deleted. And that's been moved to the trash. And we should be good uh, at this point. Uh, now there's just one more thing we need to do. Let me just go ahead and put this down. Uh, we're going to go into our keychain. Uh, just to be able to clean that up a little bit you want to go into the system here and certificates and what we want to do is just get rid of all of the different server uh, certificates you can see we've got one here uh, for server manager uh, we've got this intermediate certificate the fallback we've got my other ones here for open directory and all of that so let me go ahead and come in here we're gonna uh, go ahead and select these and go ahead and get all of these selected here and then we want to get rid of this one as well so let me just get that one. And so now that we've got all of those, uh, we'll just go to right click and say uh, delete these six items. And so again, we have to authenticate. And once I've put that in there, I'll go ahead and say modify keychain. And it says, are you sure you want to delete these things? Uh, they have custom trust settings. Uh, so deleting them will be uh, an issue. Uh, it says one of more of these is a private key and uh, you can see here that we've got some of that underneath this stuff again open directory just want to double check there's the fallback for the server uh, here we've got the intermediate certificate and we've got server uh, manager there so yes we want to go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those and again I've got to authenticate and once I've done that I go ahead and say update settings so let me go ahead and hit that and it's going to ask me to do it again for the certificate trust settings. And then I click update settings. So it's going to ask me again. So let me type this in one more time. There we go. So now everything's been updated. We've got all of the different certificates removed. And those don't show up anymore for us. And so we're all set. Okay, so now that we've got everything deleted and the server is completely uninstalled, uh, now to reinstall it, you can either download it again from the App Store or just go into the trash like I have right here. You can see all the things we've deleted. 
and just drag server back out and drop it into your applications folder. It's going to ask if we want to make changes. Let me just go ahead and authenticate. And once I've done that, I click on OK. And it's going to go ahead and add server back into my folder here. And then I can launch it to install it just like it was brand new. So that gives you an idea of how to do a complete uninstall of Mac OS Server uh, for Sierra. I just wanted to show you what that process looked like so you know where to look for everything because uninstalling is not as simple as moving it to the trash can. Uh, what we're going to do then is now walk through our complete server uh, setup. We'll start with a clean install and we'll work all the way through to the end. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.